Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a tricky issue that many developers encounter when working with Spring Data JPA. Our viewer has run into a problem with their delete query in a JPA repository interface. Let's dive into the details and see how we can help. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you get through that resolution. So, let's continue on. The issue you're encountering is related to the way you're trying to execute a delete operation using a JPA query. In JPA, delete operations are not supported in the same way as select queries. In your code, you're using the at query annotation to define a delete operation. However, the syntax you're using is incorrect for a delete query. You should not use the list method for delete operations. To fix this, you can simply remove the at query annotation and let Spring Data JPA generate the delete query for you. You can define the method like this. Avoid delete by trader ID, long trader ID. Make sure to pass the trader's ID directly to this method when you call it. This way, you avoid the complexity of HQL and let Spring manage the delete operation efficiently. By following these steps, you should be able to execute your delete operation without encountering the exception. Always remember to check the method signatures and annotations when working with JPA. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To resolve the issue with JPA repository not supporting DML operations like delete queries, you can add two annotations. First, use transactional to manage the transaction. Then, apply at modifying to indicate that the query modifies data. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the issue with JPay repository not supporting DML operations for delete queries, you can use the Entity Manager. Simply create a query with your delete statement and execute it. And that's it. I hope that that's helped find the solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Every time you hit it, it really helps. Now, I'll see you next time, next time you need some technical help. And until then, have a good one.